Hi, I'm Mark Ayling, and I'm the president of the Warehouse Arts District Association. We recently purchased 2.7 acres of property that house 50,000 square feet of warehouse space. Of that 50,000 square feet, 30,000 is currently undeveloped. We've seen this pattern repeated all over the United States. Artists bring their creative energy into a neighborhood and revitalize it. That revitalization brings energy and development. That development can be wonderful for a community, but it can create challenges for area artists by pushing them out because of cost. Uh, there's really three structures composed of six buildings. What's interesting about phase one it was, is we're going into the, one of the, the oldest buildings on the site, which has these great steel trusses, it has a lot of, uh, of cool industrial elements that are going to be left, and, and, and we're able to actually add studio space, first floor and second floor, but also create a gathering space for, uh, that can be used at times as a gallery, that can be used for events, that can be used for seminar and classes. It'll start out smaller to accommodate the first phase of build out. It will grow to accommodate the community of artists. And what's cool about that is it can accommodate interpretive dance on one night. It can be a conventional gallery on another night. You can host a mixed media class in there. Um, and, and it has vantage points into studios that are all different sizes and host all different kinds of creative activities. Rather than just being the typical fire exits required by uh, code, where these stairwell galleries uh, are, are gonna be interesting, cool, and funky spaces. We're gonna add a little bit of square footage and let the, the, the stairway stand alone and allow the artists the ability to do mini shows in these. So right from the start we can, we, we, we can have an opportunity for people's work to be on display and, and create these little experiences and moments as the public moves through the building. And so you'll enter into this large two-story volume that'll see the old bones of the building, that'll tell the story of the old soft water laundry and, and reference to the past and then infuse it with these new dynamic spaces for art that have this cragginess and this roughness that kind of exudes creativity. Right from the very beginning, there's always been this discussion and this importance placed on the creative spark of giving a, a, a kid who might not otherwise get exposed to arts early in life the opportunity to actually see art being made and, and, and to have the, the experience that could lead to the thought, I could do this. There's 125, 130 artists that have responded online to a survey and we've taken their needs and, and developed a, a matrix and really looked at where the, the sweet spot was of the demand for studio space. And in this first phase, tried to accommodate as many artists as we could. We plan on developing that space into affordable artist studios for the city of St. Petersburg.